The big snow cometh. I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey, and look at this upper level energy just digging on in a lot of spin aloft in the atmosphere. This will really create a potent trough, and we get this what's called a short wave to kick it on out. And as that lifts off towards the northeast, there's just a lot of dynamics to work with in the atmosphere. So let's take a look at our current storm here right now. This is radar from your Saturday morning here, and my goodness. 8 to 12 inches of snow falling across portions of Iowa now shimmying through Missouri. We're seeing a little bit of that weakening trend that's as expected with a wide scale area of cloud cover around it. As this continues to shimmy off towards the south, it's going to kind of take a weird track. It will dig and then move up in towards portions of the northeast. So here is that future cast. And we're going to take things nice and slow. You can see through Missouri in towards portions of Arkansas, it kind of shrinks the snow coverage area. You'll get heavy rain on the southern side of this system in Alabama and Mississippi, but then on the northwest side of that low pressure system, pretty much throughout the whole track, there will be a pretty decent corridor of snow, including here in Arkansas, breaking out into Tennessee a little bit. Lots of heavy rain for the deep south, but there will be mixing northern Georgia. Lots of icing potential into the Carolinas, especially South Carolina and western North Carolina. Some sleet freezing rain. Snow starting to break out much more across portions of Tennessee at this point. And then the system takes its jog towards the northeast is a really strong robust low pressure icing is going to be an issue clouds spill in ahead of it we'll have a heavy snow thump we'll have some freezing rain sleet mixing in at times a little bit of a dry slot developing here and then this pushes off towards the northeast with a heavy snow corridor on the western side of this system into Buffalo, northern New York. But then it also pushes in that icing area and that sleet area a little bit too. But then heavy snow up in Burlington, Montreal. And then on the back side, just a few scattered snow showers. So the timing in this area here from like West Virginia, Kentucky, through Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York will be Sunday, generally during the late afternoon through Monday, early afternoon, depending on where exactly you're at. Temperatures aloft will get a little bit above freezing, and that is what creates that elevated warm layer where snow falls, it melts a little bit, and then refreezes either in ice pellets or a little bit in that freezing rain. But the freezing rain hopefully will be uh, covered up uh, in between a lot of snow. How much snow? Well, it's going to be a pretty good amount, that's for sure. We'll take this slow as well as we track it on down towards the south and then lift it up towards the northeast. This is just one of multiple different models. There's some that are certainly showing a lot more. Snow developing across portions of the Smoky Mountains and the Appalachians. That will be where it's heaviest is typical. Uh, just, but where is the heavy snow band setting up? Where does the mixing set up? There could be a lot of snow around the panhandle there of West Virginia in towards Western Pennsylvania and then up in towards upstate New York. The Western cutoff is also going to be a big factor. So yes, we will see some freezing rain, uh, but again, sandwiched in between some snow so it's not going to be a straight icing event but going to cause some issues much bigger issues across portions of the southeast some of this will be in the form of sleet though as well and there is uncertainty on how far west or east that track will exactly be you could see these low pressures not exactly the same on the model so if it's hair versus hair a 50 mile difference is going to be huge on who gets that dry slot who gets that sleet and mix who gets that cutoff area between very heavy snow dropping half a foot, foot of snow versus hardly anything. Ridging builds back in on the back side of this system. Woo! Hopefully you're more prepared now. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and stay updated with us here at NeoWeather.